Cori Bush is now officially Congresswoman elect Cori Bush, and she showed up to new member orientation wearing this face mask. It says Breonna Taylor's name on it, and I don't have to explain to you why this is significant, why this is important. However, uh, she tweeted this out, and uh, this tweet, it really crushed my spirits. Uh, it, it's depressing, because what she says here, it really speaks to just how out of touch these people are in Congress. So she says, it's day one, so I'm wearing my Brianna Taylor mask. A few of my Republican colleagues have called me Brianna, assuming that's my name. It hurts. I'm glad they'll come to know her name and story because of my presence here. Brianna must be central to our work in Congress. Yeah. So now before I comment further on this, I'm going to uh, show you what she said about this uh, further. She was interviewed and um, she had this to say. I didn't hear it once. I didn't hear it twice. I heard it several times. I'm being called, called, you know, Brianna Taylor today. And, you know, but it's OK because we'll educate and we'll make sure that people know who she is, what she stood for, that she was an uh, award winning uh, EMT, you know, um, in her community, that she's someone who deserves justice right now. So she, you know, she's not taking this badly. You know, she's a great sport about this. However, when I see this, when I hear this from her, I mean, this this just crushes my spirit. These people should not be in Congress if they're that out of touch. I mean, you have the largest civil rights movement in the history of this country. And one of the names that acted as a catalyst for this movement, you have people who are going to be in Congress not even know that name. Think that that's her name. That really is is shocking. I mean, it should be shocking to everyone. And by now, I know that a lot of people have already reacted to this. This is, this is kind of old news, and people are seeing this, and they're saying, man, Republicans are so stupid. But this is deeper than that. Like, this really shows a fundamental disconnect with people in Congress and ordinary Americans. If you don't know who Breonna Taylor's name is, how can you represent Americans? Have you been living under a rock for the past six months? Do they know who George Floyd is? I mean, to not know Breonna Taylor's name, that is, that's, that's not okay. It shows that you're not listening to people even when they take to the streets and protest for months at a time. If that doesn't get your attention, nothing will. You shouldn't be in Congress. I think it's that simple. I don't think that that's too extreme for me to say, anyone who doesn't know Breonna Taylor's name, they're too out of touch to govern. I mean, it's like saying you don't know what the word healthcare means. It's like saying you don't know where the United States of America is on a map. If you're that out of touch, you can't be a member of Congress. Like, there has to be a line somewhere. Like, what are we doing? People at new member orientation who will be members of the United States Congress are completely oblivious, don't know about the name of an individual who catalyzed a gigantic civil rights movement. I mean, this is this is a problem, to say the least. So, I mean, I'm thankful that individuals like Cori Bush will be there to educate them, but they should come in with some base of knowledge about the Black Lives Matter movement, about who Breonna Taylor was and why her name is important. But the fact that they don't know who Breonna Taylor is and they think that Cori Bush is wearing, you know, basically a name tag on her face mask, it's just, it's, it's deeply, deeply pathetic and sad.